Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this menu animation to your Blogger website. Now in the previous video, I had shown you how to create this from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So if you want to learn how to create this effect, you can watch the previous video. I will leave the link in the description of this video. And I will also leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So let's get started. Right here I have logged into my blogger dashboard and if I go over here to theme, I am using this theme called Contempolite which comes by default with blogger. Now let's open this website. So let's click on view blog. And this is how this website looks right now. Now let's go ahead and add this animated menu to our blogger header. So right now we can see that we have this header over here. Now let's go ahead and remove this header and let's add this menu animation. And we'll also need to add a logo on the left side. So we'll just modify this code a little bit. So let's go ahead and right click over here and go to inspect and let's see how this website is structured. So here we can see that we have this header element and in that we have all this header content. So we can just go ahead and remove this header element from here in the theme code and we can add our own custom code. So let's go back to our dashboard and uh, let's click on this arrow and let's click on edit HTML. And here's the theme code and we can make changes over here. So before making any changes, you can go ahead and copy all this code from here and paste it into a safe place so that you have a backup. All right now let's go ahead and search for the header. So I just press command F. If you are using Windows, you can just press control F and let's search for less than header. And here we can see this is the header tag. So I'll just go ahead and fold this. And we can just go ahead and delete this header tag because we don't need it. We will add our own custom code over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a container division and on the left side we will have a logo and on the right side we will have this animated menu. So let's create a division and uh, let's close it over here and let's go ahead and give it a class. So let's give it a class of custom nav container and in this we will have the logo so let's create an anchor tag for the logo and in the href we will add the link of the home page so let's go back over here and let's copy this and let's paste it over here inside the href so when someone clicks on the logo they should go to the home page and here inside this anchor tag i'll just tap lb dot you can add an image if you want over here and just add this text and uh, then we will add this uh, menu container. So let's go to the source code and uh, let's go to the HTML file. And this is the menu. So let's copy this nav element from here and uh, let's paste it over here. So here we can see we have this logo and then we have this nav element. Now here we can see we have these three menus. We have home, about and downloads. Now you can go ahead and change this to whatever you want and just add the links of the pages over here. So here instead of this hash, you can add the link of your downloads page and so on for all the other anchor tags. Right now let's go ahead and add the CSS. So if you scroll up here, we can see that we have the CSS of the theme code. So let's go ahead and add a comment over here and let's tap custom nav and let's add the CSS over here. So let's go back to our source code and let's go to the CSS file. Let's copy all the CSS from here and let's paste it down here. And now let's add the JavaScript. So let's go over here and let's copy this JavaScript code from here. And let's go back and let's scroll down and let's go to the end of our theme code. And here just before the body tag ends, I'll just create a script tag and we will add the JavaScript code over here. So let's paste it right here. Right now we need to make some changes in the CSS. So let's go ahead and first of all save this and let's see how it looks. And let's go back to our website and let's reload this page. And now we can see that the header is not being displayed and we have this animated menu displayed over here. But we need to make some changes in the CSS. So first of all let's go ahead and uh, right click over here and go to inspect. And if you take a look at this, here we can see that we have this main division with a class of custom nav container. And uh, we will set the display of this to flex. 
so that these elements are over here and on the extreme right side and uh, let's go ahead and add a display of flex over here and uh, let's tap justify content to space between and now we can see that we have the logo on the left side and these menu items on the right side now if you scroll down we can see that the header also goes up now we want this to be fixed over here so here we need to select this and we need to type position of fixed now when we set the position to fixed we can see that the width of the element is affected so for that we need to type left of zero and right of zero and now we can see that it has this full width now we need to set the width according to the width of all the other elements of our website so let's right click over here and uh, let's see what is the width of the element so let's right click and go to inspect and here we can see for the article we have a width of 890 pixels we can see it right here so let's add a width of 890 pixels so let's go over here to custom nav container and here let's add a max width of 890 pixels and let's also bring it to the center so let's tap margin and let's set it to zero auto and now we can see that it is in the correct place so let's add these lines of css and uh, here let's go to the css and here let's tap custom nav container and let's paste the css over here and let's save this and let's go back to our website and uh, the next thing we need to do is uh, we will add a background color over here so let's right click and go back to inspect and let's select the container division and uh, here for the custom nav container let's add a background color and let's set it to white and let's go ahead and set the top value to zero and let's also add a box shadow so let's tap box shadow and let's set the values to zero 3 pixels 50 pixels negative 8 pixels rgba 0 0 0 and 0 0.3 and now we can see that we have a lot of height for this element so let's set a height so we will set the height to let's try 50 pixels and i think that looks all right and now we can see that the menu items have moved down because we have some margin added to it so if we take a look at this custom nav here we can see that we already have set a margin of 32 pixels over here now if we go ahead and remove the margin we can see that we don't have any problems so let's do that first of all let's go ahead and copy the css that we added so we have these four lines of css and then we need to remove the margin from custom nav so let's copy this and uh, let's paste it over here and uh, here let's go to the custom nav and uh, let's remove the margin and let's save this and let's go back to our website and let's reload this page now i think the font size of this menu item is a little bit too large so let's reduce that a little bit so if you go over here to menu text i think we have added the font size over here or i think we have added it over here inside text container so here we have set the font size to 20 pixels let's go ahead and change this to let's try 18 pixels i think that looks all right so let's go back and here let's set the font size to 18 pixels and the next thing we will do is uh, we need to bring all the content of the website down a little bit because of this fixed nav menu so let's right click over here and go to inspect and uh, here we can see that we have this division with the class of page body and we need to add a padding top to it so that all the content of the website is displayed correctly so here let's try padding top let's try 50 pixels and i think that looks all right so let's go ahead and add this padding top of 50 pixels for this page body so let's copy this selector and let's go back and uh, let's paste it over here and let's tap padding top of 50 pixels and let's save it but now let's go back and let's reload this page and now we can see we have this gap between the nav bar and the content of the website now if we scroll down we can see that we can see through this nav bar so we need to add a z index to this uh, custom nav container so let's go back and here let's add a z index and let's add 
a higher value let's type 700 and let's save it right now let's go ahead and reload this page and now we can see that when we scroll down we have the nav bar at the top of all the other content of the website now let's go ahead and style this logo so let's right click over here and go to inspect and here we can see we have this anchor tag let's also give it a class so let's go to the header and here for the logo let's add a class and let's set the class to logo and uh, let's go ahead and add some styles i'll just save this and let's go back and reload this page and let's right click over here and go to inspect and now we can see we have a class of logo so let's style this let's set the font size to 18 pixels let's set the font weight to bold and let's set the color of the text to black so let's go ahead and copy these three lines of css and uh, let's paste it for the logo so here let's type custom nav container logo and let's paste the css and now if we go back here we can see that the logo is not in the center vertically so let's right click over here and go to inspect and let's select the container division which is custom nav container and we have already set the display to flex so here we need to type align items to the center and now we can see that it is in the center let's also go ahead and add some padding so here let's set a padding of 0 for top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right now when we added the padding we can see that the width of the element has changed now if you want the width to be the same then you have to go ahead and type box sizing and uh, you have to set it to border box now we can see that we have the correct width so let's go ahead and add this css so let's copy these two lines of css and we also need to add align items to the center so here let's paste the css and let's type align items and uh, let's set it to center and let's save it and let's go back to our website and let's reload this page and now we can see that on the right side we have some padding so let's remove the padding from the right side so here we can just type padding right of zero and i think we can also decrease the width of this custom nav element so let's select it and right now the width is set to 360 pixels let's decrease it a little bit and uh, i think 320 pixels looks all right so let's make these changes we need to set the width to 320 pixels and we need to remove the padding right of custom nav container so here let's type padding right zero and for the custom nav which is right here let's set the width to 320 pixels and let's save it And let's go back to our website and let's reload this page now here we can see that it doesn't have the correct height for this element because we have this white line displayed at the top and the bottom so let's right click and go to inspect and uh, right now we don't have any height set so let's try a height and uh, let's add the same height that we added for this custom nav container and we can see that we have a height of 50 pixels so here for the custom nav let's set the height to 50 pixels and now we can see that the height has changed but it is more than 50 pixels because we also have this padding over here so we also need to add box sizing and we need to set it to border box and now we can see that we have the correct height so let's go ahead and add these two lines of css to the custom nav so let's copy these and let's paste it over here and let's go ahead and save this and let's go back to our website and let's reload this page and everything looks all right so let's hover over this and we also have the animation working all right now you can add the links of these pages over here inside the html code and uh, let's click on one of these posts and here also we can see that everything looks all right we have the gap at the top and if we click on this logo we go to the home page so everything is working all right so that's basically how you can add this custom animated menu items to your blogger website all right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day